afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, Hill of Strike, Defender of the Fatherland. We're off here an exciting one versus one on Westwall between the West. We've got Heroic Servant fighting for the Soviet Union, for socialism, for the fifth mechanized core tasked with breaking through the lines held by the fascist Thunderhun. Well, not actually fascist, but you know, he's fighting for, currently for the Wehrmacht, the Germans, for the Reich. Forming up here the 212th Infantry Division task with holding the line and no match the cost. And he's going here by the looks of it for double MD42 start. Looks like he's planning a tier 2 rush. By the looks of it, we've got here Storm Doctrine, Lightning War, and Ostrom Doctrine. Versus Serve to Serve, Serve to Industry, and Shark Rifle with Infantry Bullets options here, plus a single T34 versus Infantry Pioneers and Snipers. Which then looks like they're going to be a bit wasted if he's planning a tier 2 rush. We've got double contra there up for Heroic Servant. Quickly grabbing out as much territory as he can. Thunderhand following up as thunderously as he can with his MG42 crew. And seems like he's splitting up there. You'd figure, you know, with the more sort of tier 2 rush. You generally sort of want to have sort of one main angle. Then sort of disperse the pioneers. At least one pioneer squad sort of elsewhere. But um, he's initially splitting up here. And then it's a bit more risky. I mean, the tier 2 rush basically works the best when the pioneers and MG42s work together in two-man teams. And so far... Thunderhun is doing the exact opposite of that. He's just splitting up as far as possible as he can. He's rushing for points here, which again is where it gets a lot more risky for the MD42. It can, in theory, work, but it can also. They're easily backfiring on you. We got two MD42s, Pioneers there. We got more comfort there for Heroic Servant. Sandbags up here, preparing the battlefield ahead of time. Grand points up there. In this case, he got spotted and pretty much sort of dealt with. So in this case, he already has to veer off, and his MD42 rush there has basically faulted already in the opening moment of the game. MD42 moving towards the centre support there, and Pioneer scoring points here, but with no MD42 support nearby. Second Pioneer squad sitting out there for Thunderhunt, and the 212th Infantry Division. MD42 rushing for the other house, but again, it's going to be too late. So right here, we can sort of see that Thunderhunt's opening gambit is very quickly falling a bit flat there in the face of Heroic Servant. More steady play. We got a third Pioneer squad on the way there, though, for Thunderhunt. So, again, very much a T2 rush. Though, again, he should have rushed more for the fuel here, which, again, is rather what he actually did. And with the T2 rush, you generally want to grab as much territory as safely and sort of set up positions there. And he's rather been trying to play it a lot more aggressively, which is not what you do, at least not that way. We'll have to see how Thunderhunt copes with this. We've got Pioneer sitting southwards. The Pioneer's here trying to lay down a bunker, but there you go, pushing for the fuel point already. He needs to take up this soon. That's going a bit roughly there for Thunderhunt in the early game. We've got Pioneer's versus the conscript. Down south, we've got the Pioneer's versus the The Pioneer should be able to win that engagement there up close with the MP40s. There you go, gunning down those for Dante Russen. Back here, the MD42 reaches the base safely here. The MP42 is far away. The conscript is slightly suffering out. Up here, the Pioneer's getting supported by more Pioneer's. We've got conscript being support. I mean, this is not going to be a good engagement for Thunderhunt's pioneers. He needs to get the MD42 up there as soon as possible. Up here, the country there, but well, it looks like flanking behind the MD42. Other squad, they're getting out of the house. He's got four countries here, plus two engineers, four heroic servants here in the early game. In the south, the pioneers have successfully defeated the engineers. Another bunker here being dug in. I mean, that's a good point. I mean, if you really want to defend, I mean, a bunker is going to be a very solid choice there for Thunderhunt. I mean, not a bad idea at all, not a bad idea at all, just execution-wise, again, the way he handles MD-42s, I think, was we less than optimal. The bunker up there, of course, still needs some missions to repair it, or get it up, okay, not repair it, you don't need missions to repair that, you just need to upgrade it with the MD-42. And then, before we got the punishment to sort of support again, need to get the MD-42 up there, though. Back here, Pioneer's almost good to go in the south, Pioneer's bring, but there we go, we got constant ready to deflect here, Thunderhunt's sudden thrust. And up here, the Pioneers are defending the fuel point, but it is pretty much sort of by a razor's edge. They're going to get up, like to make a nice couple of MP4 reinforcing. He's still not moving the other MP4 chopper, but there you go. He's basically just bought time for the machine gun bunker here. And there you go. Ludwig opens up. Lord's wondering how he held the hell they got snow on top of that one. But that, you know, just being freshly brought forwards. Where did the snow come from? Ah, it's spray paint. Oh, <laughs> such good. Yeah. Just be careful, it uh, releases toxic fumes. Oh, can I get a gas mask? Nine. Oh, Pioneers versus Conscripts. MD42, they're still covering the area around here. MD42 moving about. Pioneers reinforcing, he's got the like to make a nice company up. He could go for some early Panzer gun ideas for a 2 2 2 there. Versus Rogue Servant, who's gone for the support and coming in, bringing up mortar so far. I mean, Thunderhand sort of creating some control zones, but he's not quite, again, you know, making sort of good progress there versus Rogue Servant, who's got a sort of the points locked down pretty hard. MD4 Pioneers in Southwards, but then MD4 2 support, though they're going to try and 
grab territory on the north, but there's nothing there. And he is caught by the MP42 in the house. And down here, we got the MP42 coming down again. So he's trying to establish the surface control zones and then sort of use other things as a connected hole, I guess, which could very likely be the 2 to 2. And there we go. Like to punch his spear wagon on the way there to Thunder Hunt. Not by the way, the fir very first armored car the uh, Wehrmacht ever utilized. They never really saw action in the world. What was sort of more of a training thing is to sort of figure out armored cars. But it basically looked very much like the M301 for the Soviets. Just less good, less room for people to be carried in. But just a little sort of detail there. Up north here, Pioneer's grabbing the victory point there. Pioneer's sneaking up for the south. Again, he's sort of starting here to sort of contain, but he's still getting some control going nonetheless. And there we go, we got a 2 2 out here for Thunder Hunt. And the Wehrmacht. Supporting here the 212th Infantry Division. Infantry Division, by the way, would not have access to armored cars on their own. There were some very early cases, like by 1939, though they had them, but they very quickly lost them. Any reconnaissance would have been done by infantry in the divisions. Up north, you've got Pioneers versus Contra, they need to get some support up there. I mean, I mean, if you keep standing out there, I mean, the Pioneers could possibly win that one. Contra, they're trying to hunt down the 2 to 2. Getting close there, but not quite. In the south, we got further progress. We got the motor there causing problems here for Thunderhand in the south. They good choice here by Heroic Sermon to counter sort of Thunderhand's machine gun and pathetic play. Up north there, the Pioneers push back the country successfully. Ish. Going for the cop on there. Nice move there by Heroic Servant. And there we go. We got Panzer going to do on the way for Thunderhand. And the 212th Infantry. He's showing a bit of support there. Pioneers getting points here. Motor blasting away. In the south, MD42 slightly maneuvering about. So he got the car point there, successfully caught. Of course, there's other terrorist choices in this case, connecting, meaning Thunder Hand has not been cut off from his fuel. So that's good news there for him, but that's about it. Panzer Gun is almost done. I need to push forwards and back here for Heroic Sermon. He could consider taking up soon, though, of course, he won't be able to build anything from it. We've got into a tank grenade to help deal with the 2 to 2. I think a very good choice there. Thunder Hunter Rashman of his opponent's fuel does seem to be waking up a bit, but again, it does carry risks with it very much. Ultra Rashman up north, so Thunder's now slightly turning things around here against the Servant. Very nicely there, grabbing the point. Need to push back those engineers as possible. Mine goes off, wiping a pioneer squad. Good job there, Heroic Servant, making use of mines aggressively when he's actually got no map control. I don't think he's laid down any more mines than that, but still, you know, laying down mines when you got an advantage in terms of map control tends to be a very good idea. You can make it really difficult for your opponent to get back on the field. And you need to send trouble with a 2 2 2. North here, we got the MD42 firing at the conscripts. Panzer is responding. Oh, he's going to run straight into the, into the anti tank grenade. Might be able to get the Panzer here to cover it up. Mines comes up here to clear out any mines. Thunder Hunter was quick to react in response to that mine there. Good work up north there, securing almost fully there the munitions point here by the northern uh, defensive post. He's prepared the 2 to 2. Panzer Gunner is advancing. He could consider more. We got tech up here for Heroic Servant. He could go maybe for an early half track. That could be quite effective here versus Thunderhand. If he gets the upgrade, although without it, it's going to struggle a bit there versus the 2 2 2. So I means a bit here and there. Pack 40 around there for Thunderhand. Quite obviously worried about enemy light vehicles and armor, though he hasn't really gotten that much of a sort of fuel difference between the two. But still, not a bad idea to be prepared at all. There's certainly been many a play who've been undone by simply assuming they're never going to get hit by light vehicles. And of course, they get hit and they got nothing to deal with it. The Thunderhand will need more infantry down the road to support here since a single Panzer can be squad with a tier 2 rush is not going to cut it in most cases. Morty here on the victory point, but he's cutting off there the fuel point against a nice aggressive play there by Thunderhand. Also some nice maneuver there against Heroic Servant. We mean love heroes, comrades, yes, but don't heroes tend to end up dead? Details, details, comrades. Push forward here, Panthers might want to fall back here before they get burned from inside the house. We get a bump near, it looks like we should have it, but at the same time, Rogue Sam was able to get up pretty quickly. Contra, they're taking a lot of damage. House is almost done. If you get the two to just sort of collapse it, that could work out there. But the Panthers nonetheless are forced back. In the south, not much progress there. We've got Panthers being assaulted by engineers. Overall, we can see Thunder and he's trying to push forward to the front, except for the MD42, which remains static when there's not really much of a point for it to be anymore. You can easily push it forward either towards the south or towards the north for something into the position here. We got shock. He actually got the doctoral choice. This shock rifle for Rogue Servant. A bit rare to see shock rifle nowadays, but he nonetheless goes for it. Heavily armored and armed troops. Satchels filled with grenades and submachine guns loaded to the brim.
since they used the uh, drum magazine. Now, though, technically, by 1944-45, they would have pretty much gotten rid of those because those things were A, heavy, and B, not quite that good in the longer run. They had a tendency of breaking down due to the Spinks not handling the load of all the bullets, so they rather went towards the stick magazine in the longer run. Of course, the drum magazine looks a bit more iconic if you sort of zoom in, obviously. In the south end, he's been caught here by the 2-2-2, two -two -two. auto cannon fire tearing into them here. We got a bunker up there for Thunderhand and the 212th Infantry Division. More punnies up, cancel them. So we got a half track there, the 251. Mid large shoots and punch of arc. We got a smoke screen here on the MP42 position by Heroic Servant. Good job there, good job there. Nice planning ahead there, for the looks of it. Just reaction all the way to do damage into again. MP42 falling back under the aegis of the first one. Shock troops there scurrying up the point, coming under fire there though. The smoke is slowly lifting. You could of course always just lay down another smoke screen since those things reload pretty fast. Actually, the cooldown on a smoke out is very short, meaning you can actually very quickly after you've done the first one, do another one. But in this case, it just resorts to a regular bombardment. He's less worried about that now. He's men under heavy cover. They don't take as much damage, particularly because they're shock troopers. In this case, he just pops a regular grenade. In this case, does a lot of damage to the MD-42, so good response, I think, by Heroic Servant. Panzer is moving through here. He could still do with more. But he's got the half check out here. Can enforce heal his troops. The, well, not heal, but enforce at the front line. That's definitely going to give him more resilience. Can also move his troops about. And of course, he could, in theory, also just plan here to upgrade with a flame from Rogue Sun. Bring up his first piece of vehicular madness, and that would be the HS 6 M. Modify rain down here on Thunderhand's position. And up here, Pioneer struggling with the counter from inside the house. Half check slowly moving ahead. Needs to be careful he doesn't get ambushed. Infantry not there to work with it, bit uh, iffy there by Thunderhunt, bit iffy. He's also certainly lost a lot of ground here again compared to Heroic Sam, actually laid down to mine to an air. Thunderhunt really did. I mean, again, he's a planning smart so obviously he's not going to get mine, but you know, a few S mines. He could have possibly done a lot there to slow down Heroic Sam at least a bit there. So, Thunderhand back to having only a sort of sliver of the map here compared to Rogue Servant and the 5th Mechanized Corps. And the South Engineers just continue to pressure forwards. And there we go, we got the Eastern 6 m out. Here with the, some of the new skins added with the Holiday Update, by the way. The Red Army Winterized skins. The Reavers of Conscript Mine goes off. Might have been a Teller Mine, might have been a regular Mine, either way. And he is, in fact, here going for the Flame Rocket for the, flam, for the Half Tech, turning into the Flam Panzerwagen. More Panzer Gunners at the same time on the way for Thunderhand. That's going to give him some more infantry pressure there versus a rogue servant. And the flame for a half tech is trying to deal with any sort of dug in units and just burn the infantry quite well. Issue 6 M moving about here forwards. M42 there up in a more aggressive positioning. 2 2 takes a great hit. That could likely go down, but there you go. Constant getting burned horribly there in the fires of uh, hell. Second Panzer squad almost done. Issue 6 rolling forward. Pack 40 there, not quite set up to deal with it yet. There we go, good hit, but the Asian 6 nonetheless gets the 222 smoke screen. Well, the sound it went off somewhere, but the Asian 6M escapes here, the pack 40, and rolls right past the MD 42 crew. And the North Engineers trying to flank about here, but they need some support, they need some artillery support to smoke out the MD 42 in the house, but otherwise they can't quite easily get close. Chuck 2 pushing through the front here, Panzer gonna do there, making a southern sweep. We got no tech here for Thunder, and he should definitely consider taking up soon. And aim for some armor, some Stooks, Osmonds, Panzer Force, instead of just lingering too long here. And that could definitely prove to be an issue there. Again, so many players end up sort of losing a lot of tempo, momentum, and possibility, but just not taking up to sort of in the next tier as soon as they can. Panzer is flanking up behind against the Shock Troopers. Should possibly try and go for a bit deep here so they can act and negate the car a bit more. They go grenade against them, but nonetheless, doesn't make it here. It should take them right in front of the pack 40. Could get lost, could get. No, oh, no! Pulls out of the uh, pack 40's arc of fire. Very close there that Heroic Sermon though did lose his SU 76M assault gun. Based on the T 70 chassis, actually a slightly elongated T 70 chassis with the same gun as the T 34 76. They're basically meant for infantry support, knocking out vehicles and likes, but also just providing artillery support. And the South Pine is moving for the victory point there. Up north, Flame for Arch going to burn out the rations there. Unleashing torrents of fire. And before turning 40, still got the one there. Still feel like you know he needs to move that one a bit more about there. I mean, again, if you're going to have the MD42, you might always just try and set up a machine gun bunker in the surrounding area. It just feels like it's just doing nothing there, which is always something you should be careful with. Pioneer sending out there more pioneers for Thunderhand. 
he certainly seems insistent on having at least three pioneers quartered at all times, but no mines, but that's at least not a lot. Heroic 7, on the other hand, is not doing so much. Easy full up with another assault gun, a T70 or a half check here. More shock troopers or more support weapons, say another multi hit flight further to support there. So Thunder Hunt could be an idea. And of course, in that regard, Thunder Hunt could consider a mortar of his own. That would not be a bad idea either. And there we go, we got S mines here. In the south from Thunder Hunt. Small field there to try and catch up anyone rushing straight for the southern victory point there without paying attention. That could work out nicely there for Thunder Hunt. And another smoke screen here again. He kind of sort of knows where the MD42 is probably because Thunder might be setting up predictably to scout it out. Always smoking up there before rushing forward. Good job there by Heroic Servant. Good use of smoke. Always good. In the south there, avoiding the S mine field, perhaps intentionally or unintentionally, who knows? I mean, it doesn't exactly take a lot there to spot an S mine field, but again, if you're not paying attention, just harassing, you can easily end up losing a lot of troops to such S mine fields like that one laid down by Thunder. And MP4 to being pushed back. Up north flame perhaps to do a bit of damage. Still not taking up here. Thunder I feel is definitely committing an increasingly big mistake here. I mean, right now he could have be getting a panther foot on the field if not having a panther foot on the field at this stage. So I mean that's definitely not good there for Thunder. I mean he's gone for a doctor himself, Lightning War. I hope he's not playing for a tiger because that's gonna be an absolutely rapid timing for it. Flame for after they're coming to five from Nation Six. Impact 40 moving up. Their panther moving ahead. We got an incendiary barrage down there from heroic servant. Up north, Pioneers advancing straight into contact support. They're moving in the south there. We've got a bit of movement here as well. Other Panthers there sitting out there as well. Contact being caught then in Inferno. And a storm of bullets there from the MP42. And the Panthers are going to be suffering quite uh, heavy damage in the south. We've got another move here. Engineers, but they're going to caught by the flame for a half tick with its bigger flamethrowers. Catching the engineers there in a bit of a nasty situation. Up north there, Pioneers get wiped with the shock trooper. Second squad by the way there from Heroic Servant calling up quite a few of these heavily armoured chaps. There goes straight into the flame for Hunter, in which case they're finding their body armour is of less use. Panzer's there need to retreat. And we go push back, Asian 6 goes in the hunt again there for the half track needs to pull away. Need to pop here, tracking to make full use of its range there without needing a spot in the south there. Pioneers advancing, sweeping through. S mine field of ice not been cleared out. And the north progress has already made there. Still no take up from Thunder Hunt. It's time here for the mid game analysis. In terms of damage, yeah, they're pretty close with a slight lead there for Thunder Hunt. That kills wise, so they're pretty much equal. It's tiny lead there as well for Thunder Hunt. That's definitely something they should be careful with. I mean, generally, if if you're not having some what of a decent advantage, a killed wise in a lead over the opponent, you're usually not doing something right unless they got a sniper. So right there, Thunder Hunt is striking a bit. I do feel there might be some suboptimal choice there. And overall, very importantly, he's not taking very well. I mean, again, they're both floating resources, which is bad. It's just worse for Thunder Hunt because his opponent's got an assault gun out on the field. He can get out light tanks. And the best Thunder Hunt has is two two twos and a half tank when he easily could be going for Panzer Force and the likes. So there's definitely an issue there, I feel, with Thunder Hunt in terms of points. Health has been a bit sort of swinging back and forth, but overall, Heroic Sun being more in control there than Thunder Hunt. And Thunder Hunt really, really needs to take up. There you go. He's finally doing it. It's just taking him so long there to take up. He could easily let a Panzer fall out minutes early and that's really their lost opportunity there and more time for Rogue Sam to bring up more stuff just cautiously wait for an eye or calmly wait for an eyes too for example I mean generally you want to pressure out there you meet the tanks as soon as possible plus it could have helped him support his front line much more you know pressure and just do more damage to a Rogue Servant forcing more reactions from him rather than just allowing, allowing him to dictate the pace all along so I definitely feel like that's a mistake there by Thunder Hun we'll have to see how it works out though he might also want to consider some at least some more panzer grenadiers, at least for now to so just push more of the infantry element of things. And also do feel like he needs to use this MD42 a bit more actively. It feels way too passive for me. Also another option he can consider might be another machine gun bunker somewhere just to sort of further make things difficult for a rogue servant. Otherwise, he just needs to apply more pressure on the sides, get out some armor as fast as possible, and, you know, try to get less focus there on the center, try to outmaneuver Heroic Sun. For example, if he gets the Panther 4 out, 
say rush it through here, flank behind the Ashen Six once it's got its position identified and knock it out. It's also gone through munitions cache, which is quite interesting. You'd think it may be a fuel cache, but no, it's a munitions cache there for Thunderhand. As for Rogue Servant, needs to be careful about playing for the IS-2 at the moment. He's still going to be five command points off from it, which is still going to be a bit of a while there. And while he does have the Ashen Six to sort of keep things covered up, he might want to consider at least another one before that. And if he's really intending for the IS-2, then he should get at least a fuel cache that way to offset any issues there, in particular since he has been noticed be harassed there by Thunderhand. Otherwise, more flanks as well, try to get behind, and more smoke screens in particular, try to lay down smoke screen here, and then rush up some infantry, so that way flush it out. If you can do that, I think you should have a good chance there of sort of knocking out what is essentially a bit the defensive backbone here of Thunderhand. If you can do that, he can overall control the battlefield a lot more aggressively versus Thunderhand. But let's return to the fight and see what happens. Oh, it's another reason if Thunderhand needs to move it, is that house is not going to last much longer. And there you go, wiped. MD42 gone. <clears throat> That's the danger of being. But you know, leaving the MD42 too far along, then just in the house there forever without really maneuvering it, it becomes an easy target. Eventually, the entire black thing collapses on it. <clears throat> so, right there, Thunderhand got a bit uh, punished. But we got more Panzer than it is. We got the takeover going. Finally, I just feel like it took him a bit too long. <clears throat> And the South Pony's hitting the fuel point again. Rogue Sam then control. We got Samex here around the center of victory point, digging in there. Mortar moving in here for a northern push. By the looks of it, support. He could also just smoke here, actually, just deny the machine gun bunker any sort of ability to cover. That's also a good idea. Ashen 6 M moving ahead. Ashen 2. Still no sign of additional vehicles to take up there for Heroic Servant. Thunder and cancel the Panzer. might want to get up the support of course, as soon as possible and get out some armor, which is also a pretty good idea, but he needs to do it then. Build it. And there he goes. Shock was holding by the MP42. Panzer is moving in up here. Here we go. Smoke screen on the machine gun bunker by Rogue Sermon. And nicely plotted out there. There we go. Grenade on the Panzer. There's damages, but doesn't kill. So you can at least retreat them and get them to quickly. Half check moving through the north here to defend. He's still not building the support of though. He is still not building it. Issuing 6M setting out. Pack 4 to by. There we go. Finally, he's building the support court almost at the 20 minute mark. We probably could at least set it up there by, you know, the 12 13 minute mark. So that's, you know, up to a 7 minute difference there in what he could have efficiently done and then had out armor sooner. So, definitely not the most efficient take up there by Thunder and against a Rogue Servant. Not the most efficient. Now more aggressively moving because again, you know, no house there. Obviously, it's the other one, but still, it's forcing him to use the one he's got more actively. Mission 6 and move north, which got a smoke from there to cover the retreat of the shock troopers. Nice move there, though a bit risky in theory. It's just in 6 for some cartridge through, and there we go, we got a panther on the way from Thunderhand. Panzer Gunner Deers versus Conscripts, Vetsu 2 versus Vetsu 2, of course the Panzer Gunner Deers versus 2 is a lot more valuable. Still, he should get some armor out there. Heroic Sermon's got the resources of the IS-2, but as you might notice, he can't get it. So in that case, he'd be better off just getting, say, a T-70, another T-6, or something else that way, pushing forwards against Thunderhand. Rather than just having a lot of these resources doing nothing, that's basically a waste of opportunity and more time for Thunderhand to sort of push forwards again. After they're being fixed up, Panther 4, almost down there for Thunderhunt. Almost. Panzer the they're going for the engineers, quick fun grenade there. And there you go, Panzer Kampfang for their arriving to support the 212th Infantry Division. So then from the 7th Panzer Division to support here in the defense to prevent a breakthrough by the 5th Mechanized Corps. Up north, Council Shock Troops, they're supported by the assault, and are making good progress sweeping through Thunderhand's rather weak positions. Panther 4, the flamethrower for its spot, and there you go, Telemine went off, he actually laid down mines, in this case an excellent Telemine there, knocks out the Asian 6 right as the Panther 4 hits, leaving now the Heroic Servant in a very precarious situation, forcing him to have to go for another Asian 6 here. It's right there, Thunderhand is suddenly striking very hard, very ruthlessly, might easy, the Shock Troops rocked, and there we go, Ludwig scores a kill, yaha! Look at Sad Otto! Look at Santa Gart's last bastard running. Yeah. Pack 40 number two there for Thunder. And he's clearly worried about something. And again, he's seen the shock troops. We might hear a big force of the ice too, so he's sort of beginning to prepare. He 
to retreat the Pioneers to the front. They get wiped by the shock to his victory too there, but still. We'd actually sort of try and flank behind here, hit some of the positions around him, maybe flank, you know, hit the support weapons the way. Fugue in there, firing at the flame for half check. Noting Bob, he actually used ambush there. And there you go, Thunder Hunter seeing his flame for half check forward like a tank, gets punished for it, and it goes down in a burst of fire. Second pack 40 rowing, Panzer has been forcing healing. He could consider another Panzer Fort to support the first one. Osvind, of course, is worried about the ice too. Stoops was making it. And of course, another thing we could consider the pack 40 speed, the double specifically, is he's trying to plan for the Tiger. And some players, of course, go for double pack forwards when they're sort of paying for the Tiger. In that case, you sort of got a tell there on the play. If you see double pack, for example, they could very likely then, of course, be planning then for a Tiger. Shock to charge into the Panzer because it is going a bit close here. Both end up retreating, though. Both breaking ranks of the South Pioneers advancing engineers standing about. Panzer IV firing. 11 kills in the north there. Pioneers grabbing the northern munitions. Heroic Sermon they just moments away from the eye is too heavy tank and is it coming Heroic Servant? There we go, the eye is too there, also in the uh, new skins, kind of say I kind of like that one though. Somehow looks a bit menacing there. So rolling ahead there with the eye is too, adding the heavy machine gun there, the Duska on the pintle, rolling ahead. Thunder and sort of going back the territory but again the enemy eyes to him, of course, throw that a bit off the mark. Pioneers rushing straight forward here, might have been misclick there for Thunder, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Panther 4 needing repairs. Eyes 2 getting ready for a center push. MG4 2 getting bombarded by the mortar in the north. Pioneers aren't running, Pioneers up north as well there. He's sending his Pioneers on many sort of far flung. Routes there. Eyes 2's almost got the pinlock machine gun in there. You go, Panzer right in front of it. Pack 40 shoots there. Rex some obstacles there with his 122mm gun. Gun saying lost. We've got the Pack 40 pushing forward. Panzer 4 could try and support, you know, southern push, you know, get behind, hook around. Panzer going straight forward though, and he's supporting it with the Panzer 4. Needs to come on, there you go, field gun that reveals itself a bit awkwardly, and there you go, Ice 2 shoots at the Panzer, they need to pull them back, they need to pull them back, they're right in front of the Ice 2. And wiped. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Remember, the Ice 2 has a very high AOE on its uh, gun. It might not always hit, but when it hits, it hurts. That's the thing to keep out by the Ice 2. It's right there, Thunderhand got basically punished by, for running his pants and he's right in front of a heavy tank in the middle of the bloody open. I mean, you don't see the IS-2 a lot like this, obviously I can understand why he might be a bit surprised, but the IS-2, despite what some players like to claim, is very much a fearsome combatant on the field, you know how to use it. Panzer, they need to get out of there! They should not suffer the fate of their comrades, and there you go, get out of there. IS-2 rolls head again up north here. Germans forced to fall back, they again limited support there. Might rush up the Panzer IV here. Pioneers rushing back in the south there. Ground loss as well here. Heroic Sermons knowing to how to attack at several points at the same time. Making use of diversions and the likes. Pressuring overall Thunder at many points, forcing him to then sort of divert his resources here and there. Shock tools moving towards the center. Packs there spotted. Could be dealt with. He could also just lay down the smoke screen and then rush it for the eyes too. Though he might want to consider repairing the eyes too as it was fought there. Across the barricades of North East Panzer 4 there. Pioneers bring up support. And Thunder is very much clearly intent on setting up here for the uh, Tiger tank here. We got relief infantry. Bring up some cheaper Ostrom to help place them, maybe get some more field presence against the Rogue Servant. Fixing up the Panzer 4 there as last shot after shot there against Russian infantry. Ice 2 standing about doing nothing. You should definitely get that repaired though while you can. While there's a lull in the fighting. Some engineers bring up, there we go. Both of these walking up, they could work. Constantly attacking from the south here, swarming the Panzer IV, trying to pull into the Arc of Fire, I think, of the machine gun bunker. We got the figure there going for the hunt. In fact, we got both figure guns there from the Heroic Zone moving up. Pack 4 is covering, Pioneers are taking losses. Need to get the Panzer gun to do everything up there to defend the Panzer IV. He's close to the Tiger though. IS2 also moving in here. Going about, they spotted where the Pack 40 is going to try and flank. We also got the KB out here. Arriving there. That's really going to cause some problems. There we go. Pack 40 to fight the eyes too. Two shots. One bounces. One penetrates. Eyes two shoots back. Misses. Panisi is struggling at the front. Panther 4 pull back here. Hiding behind the bunker at the far corner. Should be able to escape through here and get back into a safer position. 
Veteran to defeat Panzer gonna lose versus Engineers there. Laying down accurate assault rifle fire. Yes. Ice 2 being pulled back again. KV-8 operating up north there. Working on that Panzer IV. He's moments away from the Tiger. We got some more from there. Yeah. Some Aussatz infantry. And Panzer's running straight into the KV-8. But there you go. Pack 40 is opening up. Unleashing a deadly wall in the KV-8. Forcing it to pull back. Unless it wants to become a big ball of fire. And the Mortar continues to be a pretty good investment. I think therefore Rogue 70 has made pretty good use of throughout this fight. Eyes do continue to roll back here. Panzer gonna need to retreat. Got field gun bombardment causing it. Panzer 4 halfway done, needs to get more pioneers on that, and there we go. He's very close to the Tiger though, moments away from a Tiga. In the south, concept sneak about there again. Heroic Servant is just playing good pressure over us, Russians playing good use of the concept in that way there against his opponent. And there you go, Panzer has changed the conscripts up close though, ends up retreating, does not risk it. Just forcing him to draw away troops elsewhere from the front line, serves quite nicely there for Heroic Sermon. It seemed that's if not a bad idea. Eyes 2 pushing forward again though. Fires, doesn't quite hit, Pack 40 flying back, they're both shots in this case penetrate. You might want to try and flank more instead of just gauging Thunderhand head on because now Thunderhand with the double packs is ready forward. And he catches that with a tight the weak point volley, that Eyes 2 is likely to go down. Grenade against oh, smoke screen, cheeky. But there you go, Panzer Fortress to the rescue. Finally operable, and he's again moments away from the Tiger. I think he might reinforce the Panzer Gun it is, which I probably would have waited with myself, just going for the Tiger first, then gonna reinforce the Panzer Gun it is, because he's really aimed for the Tiger. You just go for it. You don't delay it. S minus the northern victory point there. Constantly moving about. And Panzer IV trying to fend off the shock troops there. They might smoke it up. There you go, another smoke screen there. Eyes 2. Oh, almost watched another Panzer squad. And there you go, does so again. Tiger finally available there for Thunder Hunt. Finally available, and there we go, rolling out there. KV8 also ready to support their burn away any support weapons and fascists. Catching the Conscious there, Pack 40 setting up, and. Several hits on the KV-8, taking down to less than half health in a matter of seconds. But there you go, field gun superior and hitting the Panzer IV there. He's making good, consistent use of the ambush ability, by the way. There's actually quite interesting to note there. The enemy has silenced one Most of players tend guns. never to use it, but he's actually making use. In fact, he's used everything. He's got a full bingo. He's got a full doctrinal bingo there, heroic servant. Small round of applause for that. You are to provide your own applause, by the way. Propaganda Ministry will not provide one. Tiger tank here in the north versus the Mortar crew. Taking hits there from the field gun, veteran 2 1. Pack 40 is moving way too far ahead, they're way too far ahead with no support, there's a vision, anyways. Panzer 4 taking hits from the field gun's about to lose it. Maxi enter tank mate there. Tiger blasting away, murdering rations up close. Whilst forming up support there, he should, uh, he's lost complete control of the south there, by the way. Two heroic seven who's just sort of launching attack after attack and diversion after diversion. Doing his best to strain Thunderhand to the limits. But most of his tanks that I need repairs. Constant pushing forwards there. Ty could definitely deal with a pinball machine just for the infantry. Then again, what anti infantry I mean, of course, he might just aim for another relief infantry that way, just to try and again flag up the losses and just get more direct presence on the field. Comes there taking nasty losses. Ostrom in before Trimming Heavy got a country court coming from the south, though. Flying more pressure here to Thunderhunt as he just now gets way too focused in the center, forgetting about the rest of the map and the process up here. Eyes 2 rolls forward again like a lumbering star in this giant, and there we go. Obliterates almost the entire Ostrom squad with a single hit. MD4 to in a pretty bad position again, O extended and wiped. Thunderhunt's actions seem increasingly frantic. Panzer is moving forward there again. Veteran the fleet, 24 kills. A bane to all Russian infantry. In particular, conscripts. There you go, straight into the shock. Troopers need the target support. Here we got a grenade off there, pushing them close. And there you go, right in the middle of the grenade. Ludwig goes down. And forced away, of course, the Tiger wasn't there, so able to support properly. Panzer turns about the Russian for the shock. Well, the Pack 40 is there. 
will allow the rest of the armor to push forward. KB, there's still need repairs. And he's clearing up one pack 40 already with smoke here. The Panther 4, by the way, but doesn't. Could have smoked it. He's gone to the pack 40 for safety. Tiger advancing here, taking hits here for the field gun. Clears out the machine gun there, pilfered by the Russians. Eyes to engage, yes. Shot bounces off the Tiger's armor. A bit lucky there. The Eyes 2, by the way, has higher penetration than Tiger and also higher armor. The Tiger's in Kitting. Advancing this engagement basically relies largely on higher rate of fire. Another shot bounces here, a bit lucky again to Thunderhunt. Shot goes in there though. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. He could try and rush the eyes too now though. I mean he doesn't know he can, but I mean there's nothing supporting it really, so he were to do it, he could possibly knock it out there. If he blitzes with the Panther 4, drawing the attention away from the Tiger, which then moves in from the front. But Thunder's forces have been battered here. By heroic servant. Bauer could easily call up more armor. He could easily take up there by nine. Call up a T34 6 on H5 to provide further support. He also getting pilfered and well, not pilfered but plastered. Eyes 2 and the NG42 here. KB8 rolling ahead again. Shots bounced, including from the pack 40. Awesome, they're trying to flank Hark here, but instead get caught. Panzer's then targeting from the front and gets suppressed as well. Tiger almost good to go. I mean, you can see again, he's just getting a case of tunnel vision here against the uh, Rogue Seven, just throwing everything through the center there. Incendia to the barrage, catching the pack forward of the Panzer. Well, they almost knocked out here, but the guys soon. There you go. Thundun is convinced Tiger's useless. That's an interesting idea. Panzer 4 knocked out there by the eyes too. Game over, GG. A loss for Germany, a victory for the Soviet Union, and rather hellish scene here. That could possibly make for a really good wallpaper in some way. But, game over. Thunder and struggling a bit in the early game again. Not quite the best sort of use of T2 rush mid game, though he managed to turn around. The problem was, again, basically his timing with the third tier with his Apollo call. He was way too slow in getting out and way too slow in getting out some armor. Had he been faster, he could have done a lot more damage. He could have been a much more stable position by the time that Heroic Seven was actually able to do that. He might even have delayed the eyes to be forcing him to go for other measures to then contain Thunder. But the way Thunder delayed it rather allowed Heroic Seven to much more safely go for an eyes too. Factoring then that Thunder suffered roughly from the midst of the late game from a severe case of tunnel vision focusing way too much in the center, not really maneuvering very hard, whereas the Heroic Servant was launching diversion after diversion, attacking and flanking, and overall just straining Thunder as much as possible and punishing him for all his attacks for the center there. Also good use of smoke there by Heroic Servant as well there, covering up his attacks, masking them and denying Thunder and valuable support from support weapons at several junctures. So, very good play there by Heroic Servant, and also nice to see an IS-2 for once on the battlefield, rather than just Gasman and t 35 So there you go, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did want to subscribe, tell your friends, share it with everyone. If not, you know, send in a replay of your own approach some feedback in the comment section. You can send the replay via the address in the video description. So many people ask me for details, but they never seem to actually just check the video description, which has a lot of them. But anyways, do it there, provide details as to rank, match, length, and so on. No matches below 30 unless, I mean, you know, close to 30 anyways. And, you know, no matches above one hour either as a rule of thumb. So, there we go. This is Imperial Lane signing off, and see you all tomorrow for another signing episode. Cheers.